India has quietly launched its fourth SSBNS4 star on 16th October. Saab Group has said that the company is ready with a plan to rapidly indigenize the Gripen fighter jet in India, and the full-scale production in India will include everything, airframe systems and software. India and China have reached an agreement on patrolling arrangements along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, effectively returning to the situation that existed before May 2020, and have agreed to disengage along the LAC. Garden Reach shipbuilders will launch the 7th anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft on the 25th of October. Amin concerns that the deteriorating diplomatic situation could potentially impact the procurement of F-414 engines for Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. Officials have said that defense deals will not be affected, as they are driven by strategic interests on both sides. A Russian Kilo-class submarine knew far docked in Kochi, and was greeted with a warm welcome by the Indian Navy. Indian firm Gridbots has unveiled its autonomous weapon station Katana, that is designed to enhance the situational awareness and defensive capabilities of unmanned ground vehicles. The Air Forces of India and Singapore have started the 12th edition of Joint Military Training Exercise in West Bengal. The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a tender for the supply of six stretched acrylic canopy bubble systems for India's AMCA program, that is to be manufactured from stretched acrylic laminated material, which is known for its high durability and optical clarity. It will have a service life of 5 years or 3,000 operational hours, and must be able to withstand a 4-pound bird impact while flying at 850 km per hour, with less than 50% impairment of forward vision. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has launched the 4th SSBNS 4 star on 16 October, that has nearly 75% indigenous content, and is equipped with 3,500 km range K-4 nuclear ballistic missiles. The design phase of next class of SSBN known as S-5 is nearing completion, that will have a displacement of a staggering 13,000 tons, and will be armed with 12,000 km range K-6 nuclear ballistic missiles. Safran is actively lobbying to jointly work on the development of a 110 kN jet engine for India's AMCA program, and Safran has now indicated that the new 110 kN engine could seamlessly integrate into the Tejas Mark II platform, if India opts to transition away from the F-414 American engine. The new 110 kN engine will enter full-scale production in 2032, that aligns closely with the timeline for the Tejas Mark II, and this parallel timeline presents an intriguing possibility for India. IIT Madras is working on the development of a tank-fired ramjet powered fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding sabot ammunition for future ready main battle tank. Traditional fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding sabot rounds are already recognized as the most lethal kinetic energy ammunition, but it has a limited range of 3 km with limited velocity, but this ramjet-based ammunition will address these limitations, by increasing its range to 9 km, with massive increase in speed, to reduce detection and neutralization by active protection system installed on enemy tanks. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.